Hi, Dr. Pelto here. I had a question that someone placed on one of my videos, and we were talking about, it was, I think it was about diabetic wounds. Uh, I do have a number of videos that talk about diabetic wounds, and one of the challenges with diabetic wounds is when someone has a tight calf muscle, if there's if this is pulling up, it's going to push down the, the front of the foot, which makes uh, uh, the ulcers or wounds in the front of the foot difficult uh, to to heal. And one of the treatments, and this happens specifically for those that have diabetes, because the tendons get tighter uh, due to a reaction that happens actually in the tendons themselves due to high levels of, of diabetes uh, and blood sugar levels. There, there's a question, is Achilles tendon surgery risky? Now, I want to be very clear. I do not do a lot of tendon Achilles lengthening surgeries. Um, there are a couple of different types I'll go over. Uh, riskiness really depends on the surgeon. So you, do you want, would it be risky if I would be doing it? Probably. Is it risky if one of my other partners here that does a lot of this is doing it? Probably not. But let's talk about some of, of the risks. Um, one of the common types in a, in a diabetic with a forefoot ulcer is called a triple cut, where you cut on a little bit on one side and then a little bit on the other side and then a little bit on the other, on the other side. So you're doing three little cuts, cut here, cut here, and cut here. And then when you, when you lift up the foot, they are going to make these little gaps in here. And that's going to, as it stretches, and then it's going to heal a little bit longer. That's one type. There is also another type. And so this, when is this risky? Well, this is risky. Imagine if your cut is, is more than half or three quarters of it, it could very easily rupture. And that is something that is known to happen, has happened uh, for different types of patients. Uh, and so that's what, that's when it's risky. What's risky is when, when it ruptures or when, when a patient isn't casted afterwards or immobilized afterwards, and they're just, they're walking on this and then it, it could just bust through if they have really poor tendon tissue. Another uh, area that you could do the cuts is we call it a gastroc recession. Uh, in the back of the calf, there is a gastroc and then there is a soleus muscle and uh, the gastroc, you can, um, cut through a portion, some of the fibers, and that's going to loosen it. And that is going to help reduce some of the pull on the back of the Achilles. And so this is another type. This is a little bit, I guess you would call it less riskier. There's a couple ways of doing it. Uh, you can do it uh, with uh, arthroscopically. So you can go in there and just shave the shave going across. There's a different cut type of cuts you can do to lengthen it. Uh, and then you can also do it open. So there's a couple of different ways of doing that. And so are, are there risky? It really depends on who's doing it, I guess. Uh, but it is, is very useful uh, both in treating uh, ulcers and also other types of conditions that, that need uh, this. Um, I'm going to put a couple of videos here about uh, ulcers uh, that may explain a little bit about offloading because that's what it's taught. It's a type of surgical offloading. Okay. Once again, hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any other questions, please write them underneath. I will try to answer them uh, as soon as I get around to it. Thanks.